Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK Quiz Number One. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK Today, and I'll be taking you through this. In which of the following states the Sharavati project is located? So as you can see, the Sharavati project is located on the Sharavati River, and you, as you can see in the map, the river goes through till the Western Ghats, and it is. Uh, located in the state of Karnataka. So the correct answer is option B, Karnataka. What does the Olympic flame symbolize? So whenever we think of Olympics, the symbol that comes to mind is the Olympic flame. Months before the games are held, the Olympic flame is lit on a torch with the rays of the sun concentrated through lenses and at the site of the ancient Olympics, which is Olympia in Greece. Now the torch is then taken out of Greece, most often to be taken around the country or continent where the games are held. The idea of this is that the Olympic flame was derived from the ancient Greece where a sacred fire was kept burning throughout the celebration of the ancient Olympics on the altar of the sanctuary of Hestia. So what it symbolizes is a continuance of the ancient traditions or a continuity between the ancient Olympics and the new. So the correct answer is option C, continuity. For which among the following kinds of fences, COFEPOSA was enacted in the 1970s. Now COFEPOSA stands for Conservation of Foreign Exchange and Prevention of Smuggling Activities Act. Uh, it is an act that was passed by the parliament in 1974 during administration of Indira Gandhi trying to retain foreign currency and prevent smuggling. So all of these are economic issues. Hence, this act is for option C, economic offense. Which among the following ministries of India publishes the employment news? So all major, major government job vacancies are published on the government website, employmentnews.gov.in. If we go to their contact page, we can see the contact of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Which of the following state does not share boundary with Myanmar? So, as you can see on the map, the states Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram share their borders with Myanmar. So, the only option left is Option A, Assam. Who is known as the father of green revolution? Now, option A is Dr. Amos Swaminathan, who was uh, an Indian geneticist and international administrator, renowned for his leading role in India's green revolution, and is also known as the father of Indian green revolution. Option C, Vargas Kudin, is known as the father of white revolution in India because he revolutionized the dairy industry. However, it is option B, Norman Borlaw, who was an American agronomist and humanitarian and led initiatives worldwide that contributed to the extensive increase in agricultural production that is termed as Green Revolution. So, he, he is known as the father of Green Revolution. The total valley area covered by Damodar Valley Corporation is approximately 24,235 square kilometers. In which among the following states this area is spread? So, as is visible on the map, uh, Damodar Valley Corporation is spread along the Damodar River, which spans across the states of West Bengal and Jharkhand. So, the correct answer is option B, Jharkhand and West Bengal. If a match, a live commentary in Delhi commences at 10 a.m., at what time the viewer at London should tune in? Uh, so, GMT is about five and a half hours behind IST. So, as per the calculations, uh, any time in London is five and a half hours behind any time in Delhi. So, taking five and a half hours away from 10 a.m., we see that the correct answer is option B, 4.30 a.m. Polar Forum project is located in which state? So, Polar Forum project is a multi-purpose irrigation project which has been accorded national project status by the union government. As you can see on the map, it is located in Andhra Pradesh. Hence, the correct answer is option C, Andhra Pradesh. Who among the following poets used to write the Urdu Ghazals with the pen name Asad? 
So this poet's original name is Mirza Asadullah Beg Khan, but most of us know him by the pen name Ghalib. But before he was Ghalib, he wrote under the pen name Asad, which means a lion. He was honored with title Dabirul Mulk by Bahadur Shah Zafar too. When another title Mirza Nosha was given to him, he became known as Mirza Ghalib. And the correct answer is C. Mirza Ghalib. So that's all for today's quiz. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next video, goodbye.